Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead to air with you today. We are in Calhoun, Georgia. We made our trip down to Georgia today because we are set up for bees now. And while we were down here, I wanted to make an extra trip over to the Calhoun area to come see New Echota. New Echota was your government seat, if you will, capital, new capital, prior up to the Trail of Tears for Cherokee. If you come to the park, I will let you know you need to be here way before 5 p.m. because they do start locking the buildings. This is winter hours, of course. But I do want to invite you because we have gotten to see about half of the facility and it's very nice. Really great place for you to come and see. They have a nice museum and the buildings are beautifully reconstructed and I think you would really enjoy this. So we had a few sights and sounds today and some beautiful pictures to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video because we are making another trip down to Georgia as we make another trip to the Battle of Chickamauga and of course back here to New Echota.
back originally they were not elevated. Well, they, yeah, we, they were, um, except for houses like vans that were built with a root cellar and stuff like that, but generally they were all used to be built up off the ground, except for the real small cabins. You know, livestock, you wanted, you know, some air circulating in there, so having it open was good. Um, but the cabins would have been built up off the ground a little bit, maybe not as high as the footings on all of these, but somewhat they were. Now, stupid question. The bars are just to protect it now. Today, they exactly were right. yeah. in there yeah, back that's then. That's correct. Yep. Because of the artifacts and furnishings right. inside the rooms. Well, this doesn't have an upper area. Well, it's got a ladder and it is cut out with an opening into the loft. Most of the time, if they had a loft, it was open across here. That would help some of that heat from the fireplace a little bit as the leaks go up. Right. Those heat's going to rise. You know, a house this size, a lot of times what you see on the farms are a farm of about an average of about 11 to 15 acres. And you quite often see two cabins where it's an extended family. So the grandparents are still mm -hmm. living on the same land. They're not doing community wide farming like they used to, but they are which continue, you know, in the 1900s, even generational, you know, extended family farming together, living together. And so this would have been a house probably for about seven people. And you know, guys like him would have been the weather yeah. permitted snoozing up there right. in the loft. Right. Night like last night and the last couple of days, they've been laying right here probably with their blankets yeah. as close to the fire as they could get. I'd have been moving the bed over here if I was mom and dad close to Or, you know, in the house my grandparents grew up in, and it's kind of like the tavern down there. It was like that. He, he had uh, big cracks in the wall. We didn't pay him either some of the product or money, trade something. But in the early days, you know, for just your family, the canona was used like a mortar and pestle. So it's used to grind the pulverize the corn, you know, to make your corn meal to where you get, you know, for what one of the foods they really were dependent on in the early days were the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. And one of their favorite foods was something called bean bread, which is a combination of the cornmeal with the beans mixed together. And it's, it's almost, it's wrapped in a leaf and then it was cooked, usually boiled in water and like bear grease if they had it. It's almost like a boiled cornbread. Um, today I've had it at restaurants that serve Cherokee food. Not the most tasty stuff, but beans and cornmeal, pretty nutritious. Yeah, and so it was the foundation of their food in the early days. And they used the canona as a mortar and pestle for the grinding process. And you know, the, the heavy weight.